What is going on, E Nation fans? This is the Impress 48 here. Welcome back to another diecast video that I am doing. So, in this video, I do have more diecast, but this time it's not a new track re record. It is two new NASCAR diecasts. Uh, well, NASCAR for one of them. Let's just say that's the only hint I will give you until I open this box. So, I got new diecast from my good friend NASCAR Nick twenty four eighty eight, uh, my long time long time friend, and uh, and let's see what he got me. So time to open. If I can open it right. Oh crap, hold on. Sorry if I'm taking forever, hold on. I'm gonna try to open it the other way around, but I guess it's not happening this time. And that's close enough. All right, what do we have here? What do we have here? Let's just say that one of them is extremely rare. And let's just say one of them is going to be extremely rare one of these days. But first up, let me open this. Drum roll, please. Boom. Right here. This is Steve Wallace's 2011 5 Hour Energy Toyota Camry. And I forgot the team name of when Steve Wallace ran this beautiful paint scheme at the 2011 Daytona 500. I will be going over this car for a bit. And last, but certainly not least, I never expected this to get this interesting die cast. Let's just say. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Boop. Anyway. So the best for last, this is going to be on Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2020 IndyCar iRacing Dallara Chevy from the IndyCar iRacing Series race at Michigan where he finished third in his only start for the iRacing IndyCar Series. And I tell you what, honestly, like, Honestly, it, it was obviously going to be made because it's Dale Earnhardt Jr. Because Dale Jr. Um, meh. And honestly, I would, I was never really like expecting or eh, really into it at first because it's an iRacing diecast. But then uh, Nick uh, um, was asking me if I could have this car because he's got two of these. One for to keep in a box, and the other one to just let it loose. He's a huge Earnhardt fan, so of course he would get this. And that's okay, Nick. You're good. And then he accidentally ordered three. How ironic. Three. Anyway, so he accidentally ordered three. He asked me if I could have this one. And honestly, I said yes. So I wanted this because hey, I, it's pretty cool. It's gonna be rare one of these days. And also, it's another IndyCar diecast. You know, my compared to how big my NASCAR diecast collection is and how little my IndyCar collection is, I thought this would be a good, a good addition. And honestly, I think I would like get it out of the box just to show it. So yeah, what's up, Charlie? Right back. Before we get to the Dale Jr. iRacing IndyCar diecast, I want to first go over the Steve Wallace diecast. So, I remember the time when this was released. Obviously, whenever, whenever I watched a lot of NASCAR stop motion videos, I would see a lot of these. Um, I, I would see a lot of... Fuck. I would see a lot of the Steve Wallace diecast on their stop motion races during the Gen 5 era. And here we are now, like nine years later. This is one of the rarest NASCAR diecasts of all time because he only ran his once at the 2011 Daytona 500. 
and is does that is that another sponsor or is that like a team i don't know and here's the thing like nine years after after the daytona 500 i had no idea that aspen dental was part of the sponsor for steve wallace this is new to me honestly whenever i open the box and see this car i didn't know there was aspen dental all right, then that's pretty cool. And then a year later, Aspen Dental went to Stuart Haas Racing, sponsored Ryan Newman and Danica Patrick. Then a lot of drivers, I think. Or was it Newman or Danica only? But yeah. Of course, this car, like, it just reminds me of. Obviously, 2011 Daytona 500, because obviously he ran this uh, car once, and that was his only cup start. But then, like. Five years later, when there was an announcement that Eric Jones was going to the 77 for Furniture Row Racing and 5 Energy was coming along, this gave me nostalgia. So, yeah. And I am very glad to own this piece of beauty. It is pretty much, obviously, one of the rarest of all time. And, of course, Nick has his own diecast of this one. And honestly, again, thank you, Nick, for giving me this diecast. It's awesome. Thank you so much. Alrighty, folks, the best for last for many of you guys watching this video. After cutting this open, here we go. Boom. This is Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2020 Nationwide iRacing car. And I gotta say, I know I said, like, if I ever somehow open, uh, own this car, here's what I was thinking about way before I got this. If I somehow ever open this car, I do not want to open it. I just want to keep it closed because it's a iRacing special diecast. And honestly, I think this will be the only time I'll let it open, or unless I, if I ever get more of these green light IndyCar diecasts, I could do, like, some random stop motions. And you could have this, um, diecast buffet made a good point out of it. I'm like, all right. I'll open this once until then. So here we go. And to have the halo on these green light diecasts, holy crap. This is just awesome. Awesome. And this is my second ever green light IndyCar diecast. And I'll tell you what. Having more IndyCar diecasts, it puts a smile on my face because I don't have a lot of IndyCar diecasts. And I'm going to get more IndyCar diecasts. It just means a lot to me getting more IndyCar diecasts. So, yeah. And let's take a closer look at this. Obviously, it's from Junior. I'm surprised Nationwide came back to Junior just for the iRacing Michigan race. That's surprising. Oh, yeah, because um, even without this NASCAR sponsor, of course, Nationwide and Junior are still a thing. And this is pretty cool. And you get the, you get the cockpit. You get to see the cockpit inside with the Halo. I think that's beautiful right there. And here's the front wing. Of course, you got Junior's logo. This is just cool. Oh, but there's a chip there. Ah, shucks. Oh, well, it is what it is. So, just a little 360 of this beauty. And, and, and it rolls awesome. It's just beautiful. And, yeah, <laughs> speaking of the IndyCar iRacing stuff... Oh, so there were uh, like three NASCAR drivers who did the uh, IndyCar iRacing uh, series during quarantine. Uh, Jimmy Johnson for the first few road course races, Junior at Michigan, Kyle Busch at Twin Miltegi. And that's pretty cool. And then we had Formula One drivers. Um, like my, my, my second favorite Formula One driver lando norris and he won it in his first start at coda speaking of coda i will talk about that on racing topics with the press soon hopefully tomorrow or later tonight something like that and yeah and then and then will power he was a winning he's a he showed during i racing that he can win races but then he can't because i don't know some mishaps some bad strategy calls i don't know but of course, he does so good in iRacing, he still couldn't win a race. If you ask me, that's willpower this year. Can't win races until the first Metal Ohio race. As a willpower fan, holy hell, it was painful. And I tell you what, this is, I tell you guys what. Remember I said this was my second ever IndyCar Greenlights diecast? 
I wasn't kidding. This is obviously who else? Will Powers 2018 Verizon Chevrolet. And of course, this is his 2018 Indy 500 win car. Yes, the GOAT. My all time favorite driver won the 2018 Indy 500. If you guys would have asked me which win was more special, the 2014 championship after years of missing it a bunch of times, or the 2018 Indy 500, honestly, both of them are good. Uh, both of them mean everything to me. But seeing Will Power win at St. Petersburg back in 2014 in person, it was awesome. So those are my three all-time favorite Will Power wins and moments as a huge Will Power fanatic. And here is the Indy 500 one right here. I will put those back out there filming. So yeah, honestly, uh, to have this, to have Junior's car... And Steve Wallace's uh, Daytona 500 car. It's very awesome. Nick, I want to say thank you guys. Fuck, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do the outro. I'm sorry. Nick, I want to say thank you for giving me these die casts. I hope your junior cars are doing well. I hope your Steve Wallace car is doing well, of course. Thank you so much for being an awesome friend. Thank you for giving me this die cast. These die casts. It's awesome. I love it. Thank you. All right. All right, everybody, I, I hope you guys enjoyed another uh, e Impress 48 diecast related video. Sorry that I still got facial hair and did not shave today. I was cutting grass all day and all that. So, yeah, I know there's a lot of stuff going on in the real racing world about NASCAR, Ricota, and, and all that stuff. Um, I will get into that on racing topics with Ian Perez. Hopefully you guys can stay tuned to that and hopefully I can actually, hopefully I can do videos about it. So yeah, so yeah. So hopefully you guys tune into those. I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social accounts, Instagram, I'm Ian Perez 25 and Ian Perez 40 underscore YT. Like my Facebook page, enasher 40 enation Films. Don't forget to follow my social accounts, Instagram, I'm Ian Perez 25 and Ian Perez 40 underscore YT. Like my Facebook page, enasher 40 enation Films. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube channel notifications for more content. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my good friend, NASCAR Nick 2488 for uh, on, on his YouTube channel. And don't forget to follow him on Instagram, NASCAR Nick 2488 and Mick Custom Diecast. I will send the links in the descriptions below. So yeah, and another update. I finally finished the Saltwater Racing Stories episode. It will be uploaded around Wednesday. I think it's at, I think 2.30, 2 o'clock. I don't remember, but keep an eye out because it'll be uploaded. It'll be uploaded on Wednesday. So yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for supporting E Nation. Again, Nick, thank you so much for those two amazing diecasts. You're the real one, man. Thank you all for supporting E-Nation. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.